Okay, I'm here with Rolf Aldag, Director Sportif of Amiga Pharma Quickstep. Rolf, what I'd like to do is take us through the team car. It's a powerful engine and first of all to move up really quick if the riders call you like every other car but then of course we have a lot of uh, special things. We have a bike rack with nine bikes so every rider does have a spare bike on the first car and uh, we have some for the leaders we, we even put bikes on the second car. Is there any particular order? Is it, is it who's best on GC, the bikes at the outside that are easy to get? If you look at it you have four complete bikes and uh, and the bikes in the middle it's it's harder to reach so that's why the leaders are always on the outside then the mechanic always sits on the right behind so this is where he gets out so that it's obviously that that the most important rider okay. is on on the right side in the front because that's a bike that you can easily get off off the roof um, so in our case you know, like that's not a big secret it's Rigoberto run uh, on the right side and uh, hope we never need it but you just better be ready so it's almost like tactics that come into play about the team car, not just on the road. That's true. I mean, if, if you're really smart, you go around at the parking. If you're not really sure what other teams plan, then you can go around and see which bike is where. If you can, you can really like draw some conclusions from, from the top of the roof. There we go. Should we take a look inside? As you see, um, you know, we have one hanging here, and this is always the most important one, the rider's radio. Uh, so this is where the director sportif just has to grab it and just has to talk and that goes straight to the riders. Um, then you have this one that's from car to car and on the third one you cannot speak for good reasons because that's official tour radio okay. and you don't want to have anybody like you know communicating on that channel. That's just a satellite navigation system on the right there isn't it? Well that's a television. Here. Oh it's a television I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. So, so you can watch uh, you can watch Eurosport and the coverage or whatever or GCN even. <laughs> That's of course just for the co-driver because uh, for the driver it's pretty critical to uh, you know to watch television, to drive a car, and to handle three radios. It's it's just getting too much. So we have one television in the rear for the mechanic, so he can follow the race. Basically, if he sees something, he can advise the sport, the sport director. And you have one in the front uh, that the co-driver usually like in a back tour. You have two sport directors in the first car. Um, because you have so many people on the road, you have such big crowds that you just don't want to run kids over with your car because you just lose focus for a moment. Safety of the rider, safety of the of, of the public, of the fans, and uh, so you don't really want to take any risks. Let's have a look in the back where the mechanic sits. Yeah. Not too, not too big. Yeah, not not too luxurious, is it? So yeah. so there's a lot going on in there. There's even there's even a flask for for coffee and stuff, I guess. In this case, it's it's for hot tea. Because if it really starts raining, it's going to be a long stage. Uh, so they're out there for a long time. And if, if it really starts raining at the beginning, then you better have some, some warm drinks ready for the guys. So, so this is where the mechanic turns out to be the chef and okay. prepares uh, the, the drinks and the food. Also, like the, the white paper bags, that's, uh, that's for the people on board, that they're not starving. So they have breakfast at, at 7. Next time they, they get something uh, in the restaurant is at 9 in the evening. It needs to be good morale in the team car. It's important. Yeah, well, I always look for chocolate. The only important thing is chocolate for me. And then you have boxes of, uh, of bars and jails, like what, what we see there. And, of course, the complete toolbox. And then a lot of spare wheels. Well, this is uh, really neatly laid out. Very, very clear. Yeah. Uh, for the moment, yeah. In, uh, during the race, when you have a really, really bad weather situations like San Remo this year, for example, the riders come constantly back and forth, and then you just cannot uh, redo it. But yeah, every rider has a has a rain bag underneath. Usually, they have uh, spare shoes in it because there's always something that can happen to the cleats. There's always, you know, something that might not fit that day. Rain jacket, gloves. Uh, as you see, they have names on it. As you also see, there is a number. So this is the rain bag number one. They have two rain bags in the second car. Just okay. Just imagine you get dropped, and then your rain bag is in the first car, um, and then it doesn't really help there if, if if that first car might be in the climbs 20 minutes ahead of the sprinter group. That's why everybody has two rain bags. Then you have a cooler here with ice, which we cannot really open. The trick is, it opens to the other side, ah, okay. so the mechanic has to grab it while he's driving. So. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah. But that's uh, that's just just cool bottles in there's just uh, um, usually water and mineral drinks. Okay, can we just unzip one of the bags just briefly without taking anything out? Perhaps just have a, a quick peek in there because there's uh, there's a lot. Oh, there's plenty of yeah, kit. Yeah. So there's lots of capes, yeah. gilets, yeah, exactly. and even uh, thermal thermal rain, thick jackets here. Yeah, yeah. Rain rain vest. That's a uh, that's a thicker vest that's not really for rain but keeps you warm. Rain jacket, um, jerseys. So all the stuff that that riders think they need. And 
I don't think Sean Kelly ever had a rain bag. I only seen him with a with a vest and arm arm warmers. That doesn't surprise me. <laughs> exactly. So you know. Yeah, between you and me and the rest of the, our, our viewers, what's your top speed in the car? In the car, <laughs> you never really go quicker than 160 with a with a race car with with bikes on top. That's more than enough. For more Giro content, click here, and to subscribe, click on me.